Alexander friends, it's Miss Miller here in the library and I wanted to make a quick video for all of us to remind us about the things that we can do to take care of our library books when we take them home. So I have a little book for you today called Book Care. The first picture, what do we have here? A really nice big plate of spaghetti. And while spaghetti is really yummy in our tummies, one thing it's not so good for is our library books. So after we eat our dinner, it's always a good idea to wash our hands before we pick up our library books. Next one. How many of you have a dog at home? I have two dogs at home. And while it's lovely to read a library book to your pets, and always an excellent opportunity, they would, I'm sure they would love to hear the stories, it's always a good idea to make sure that our books are up high and safe from our pets. I know our dog loves to chew books if we leave them laying out where he can get them when we're not around. And the same thing goes for our cat friends. Look at that funny cat wearing a hat. The cats can claw them and the, both animals might accidentally go to the bathroom. And what do we have here? Oh my goodness. It looks like a pair, a brother and a sister, a pair of siblings. And well, um, one thing, again, it's really good to share your library books with your siblings, both older and younger. It's always good to read stories. Um, we need to make sure that when we're not reading our library books to our younger siblings, that, we make, that they're in a safe place. Because sometimes younger siblings might not understand that a lot in, inside a library book you shouldn't color or draw. Oh, and here's a picture, I'm sorry it's so small. It's a picture of someone blowing a nice, big bubble with bubble gum and while bubble gum is super fun and actually right now I'm thinking of a fun book we have about bubble gum that we should probably record for story time it's not a good idea to blow bubbles around our library books because then the pages can get sticky and then they'll stick together and then they tear and then the books ruined and outside I love to read books outside but when I read a book outside I always make sure to bring it back in with me because we don't want to accidentally leave it outside for it to get dirty or wet. Oh, and books in the bathroom. Um, library books are for everyone and everyone shares the books. And when you bring the books into the bathroom, they could get wet, they could get dirty, and it's never a good idea to take your butt books places where they could get wet or dirty. And the school bus. I'm sure some of you um, at different times have ridden the school bus. And while it might be nice to read our library books um, while we're on the school bus, some of us might get a little sick to our tummies if we're reading on the bus. So, and we, we don't want to accidentally forget our book on the seat. So it's always a good idea to keep our library books in our backpacks. Our backpacks are great places to keep our library books when we aren't reading them. And I would make sure the backpack is zippered because then little brothers or sisters or cats or dogs can't get into your backpack if it's zippered and nothing will accidentally fall out. And of course, I mean, we've talked a lot about hand washing the last few months, more than you've ever heard about hand washing in your lives ever, but it's always a great idea to wash your hands before you read your library book so everything's, make sure everything, your hands are nice, clean, and dry. And that, my friends, is the end. Please enjoy your library books and make sure they are returned to the library in excellent condition so we can share them with more friends. Thanks, see you next time.